Monica the guards. Inside, it's Griffin and Jordan, and it's Mba Amute into the three slot. Here's Snow. From beyond the arc, and then some. Paul with the ball. Buries it down low. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. On defense, the Clippers. Hill with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. Down low. Here's Lynch. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. Los Angeles ball. Ball outside. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you props. Pick up by Hill. Here's Iverson. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Another miss by Iverson. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag him. You know, guys, when you push it hard like that on the break, those are the easy buckets that'll be waiting for you. Philadelphia with the ball. It's a three-point game. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. And it's blocked by Jordan. Whoops, they pick off the pass. And there's Iverson. That's good on the assist by Hill. Iverson's got his first two points of the night. Excellent, excellent transition passing there, guys. Straight to the hoop. Paul with the three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Pulls up for three. It's hauled in by Allen Iverson. Snow. Here's Mutombo. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Uh, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. It's Reddick on the wing. Here's Jordan. The shot misses. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Matumbo passes to Lynch from deep. DeAndre. Ray Jordan grabs the miss. And now Reddick pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And it's sent back by Matumbo. Pass to Lynch. Here's Snow. 76ers moving the ball around. Great open look there. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. And Griffin, here we go. But they'll get another chance. Second chance shot. Jordan can't get that one to fall. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Philadelphia shooting their first shots of the night from a charity strike. Some changes for Philadelphia. Geiger's checked in for Matumbo. Jones comes in for Hill, and it's McKee in for Snow. And both free throws good for Iverson. Clippers trail by five. And stolen by Iverson. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Oh, it's sent in for Lynch. They're really on their heels at this point. Yeah, on both ends of the floor, Kevin. They've lost some confidence along the way. Crawford outside. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Here's McKee. Geiger with a screen on Rivers. Here's McKee. Pops loose off the pick and hammers it home. And, folks, he does more than just put two points 
onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh -huh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. I'll tell you what, he may not be the biggest man in the league, guys, but he more than makes up for that lack of size with amazing aerial skills. They get the rebound. Geiger, no good with the layup. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. The 76ers leading by five. Jones drives in. Iverson outside. And he uses the glass on the layup. Iverson's got six points. Oh, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key. They're getting point blank looks time and time again. Clippers trail by seven. Here's Crawford. They kick it out to Green. It's good from long range. Green's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. We've got 113 left to play in the first quarter. And McKee kicks to Iverson. Soft touch off the glass. Iverson's got his third basket of the night. And now we can see them really working it inside. Yeah, Clark, quality looks at the rim. That's fueling this run. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. The 76ers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. He's off on the first. And the Clippers making a change here. Johnson's checked in. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. Crawford, no one around him. Shoots. Off target from the wing. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Jones, no one around him. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. From outside the arc. Crawford, no luck. And he's clearly just disappeared here this quarter, not making any contributions here with his offense. And Greg, it's been hard to watch. I mean, you can see his frustration. He's actually looking forward to the end of this period so he can have a fresh start for the next one. The 76ers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two shots. All right, now, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Iverson. That one misses. On the wing, Jamal Crawford. Three pointer. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. What a three at the horn as they end the quarter on a high note. Couldn't agree more. That'll get. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. In a moment, I'll quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the 76ers. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been. Today. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of Turnover. Here's McKee. Gets an open look and hits. McKee's got the first basket of the second quarter for Philadelphia. Clippers trail by six. Here are the five the Clippers have to start the second. Chris Paul and J.J. Redick are the guards. Jordan is out there with Luke and Baamuta. And it's Johnson in at the three, the small forward. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. 
the defensive backboard has been controlled. They have not allowed a lot of second chances. It's been about one and done for the most part. And I'm not yes, talking about leaving college. Yeah, I know you're not. That's um, a bunch of good rebounding taking place there, boy. Now McKee. Matumbo is screen on Reddick. McKee dishes to Matumbo, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Paul kicks to Johnson. And the three off target. The 76ers leading by six. They double him with Jordan. Pass to McKee. Matumbo sets a screen. That's good. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. They're all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach threw up. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. McKee against Reddick from deep. And it's Aaron McKee with the three. And now it's an 11-point 76ers lead. And they've gotten good looks, you know, so that's one reason they're frustrated. Maybe he can come up with something to get them an easy one, maybe get to the line. Yeah, you know, that may be. They can't guard us on the perimeter. But spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. Los Angeles calls timeout. Cannot be happy with how things have gone during this run. I think it's a good decision to take a break. Yeah, I agree with you, Greg. I mean, he had to do something. Um, they're getting buffaloed and beat up. Um, he couldn't let that continue. He had to call the timeout there. Griffin's checked in for the Clippers. And it's Paul missing. N not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. Pierce has checked in for the Clippers. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Clippers trail by 11. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. Good on the three-point shot. Paul's got seven points. He presents a defender with a serious challenge. Always. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. 